Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, of course the uh, update yesterday. First of all, we're going to talk about how it's rolling out. The um, optional update that was received yesterday was uh, it seems to be rolling out well. And uh, of course, if you install it and have not installed the previous uh, updates, uh, well, all of that will install together. Um, and if you don't install it, it's fine because it's an optional update, but it will anyways install at some point. Optional updates, um, you know, they are optional until you get a next update, which is not optional. A lot of people have been asking me that as well. You know, I'd like that update not to go through. Well, when a Patch Tuesday security update actually um, goes through, it wants to install what's missing and that will force it uh, at the same time, even though um, you don't want it. Um, that's the way cumulative updates work. Now, uh, the rollout went well, and uh, there's no real problem. I've seen a few people mentioning that they had issues with little little things here and there, but um, overall, the background noise, which is what I look at, is pretty stable, nothing unusual for now happening. Uh, like I said, it doesn't fix. If you have all your updates until now, it doesn't really fix a lot of things. So you don't really don't need to install it if you don't want it. Now, uh, this comes to a question that I've had from a few viewers that were wondering if um, you know we're going to continue getting these updates like that next year and in the few years, next few years, and all along. Once again, uh, I want to remind everybody that Windows 10 is supported until the end of 2025. That's uh, something that is official. Um, and some of you have been asking me if Windows 11 will be forced on Windows 10 users. Uh, it will not. It will not be forced in any way on, you know, it will be there available. It's going to tell you that it's, you know, possible to upgrade on your PC, but it won't uh, install itself unless you decide to install Windows 11. So uh, the two updates that we're getting every month pretty much on Windows 10 is what's going to follow, what's going to be the future of Windows 10. There's no news of any um, feature updates anymore. And so being very quiet kind of tells us that maybe we're not going to get any you know, new big features on Windows 10 in the future. But we will have the twice a month updates, which are... Patch Tuesday security updates, they're always on the second Tuesday of the month. And we will have the bug fixing updates, which appear on uh, week C or D of the month. So what does that mean? Well, Microsoft divides the month in the weeks A, B, C, and D. And B is the second week or where the second Tuesday of the month arrives. So B is the patch Tuesday security updates. And C, and mostly, most of the time, it's actually D, um, where you get Windows 10 updates. I suspect that the motion, what's going to happen in the future, is that A, so we almost never have anything in A happening but B will have Patch Tuesday for everybody, including Windows 11. And then C and D will probably be divided one week. Like C will be Windows 11 bug fixing updates. And D will be Windows 10 bug fixing updates. But for Windows 10, two updates a month like we are having now, which will be Patch Tuesday security and bug fixing updates towards the end of the month is pretty much how it's going to continue from now on. So these are the way that things are going to happen. And uh, 21H2, once again, is uh, going to be out somewhere in November. So, uh, of course, when it gets released, we'll let you know. As right now, it's still being tested in release preview before its launch. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.